Rupert Murdoch made the first move, an $80 billion takeover bid for Time Warner, and he was rebuffed. But once these things get started, it's hard to stop them. Media columnist David Carr on Time Warner's many suitors and how the old media giant became coveted from Australia to Silicon Valley, now on the New York Times Minute. It is not in the best interest of Time Warner or our shareholders to accept the proposal. Time Warner's chief, Jeff Bukas, spent years paring down the company. AOL, Time Warner Cable, and Time Magazine were all jettisoned. Smaller has proved better. The company's focus on TV and the movies is profitable. People will tell you, no, it's distribution, no, it's the pipes of cable. But over and over, what seems to have enduring lasting value, including in this most recent instance, is the stuff that's in those pipes. As negotiations continue, Mr. Murdoch may be in competition not just with fellow media companies. Technology giants may also jump in. What all of us are wondering is, will it just be other media players, or is it going to be Amazon, Apple? Is it going to be time when technology companies long, who've long tried to build their own content are going to move into the space and just buy some instead? It's a much more mixed up world in terms of what is a technology company and what is a media company. They're kind of getting screwed together.